so we are definitely going down and I'm gonna say we're going down to 9.2 or 9.87 uh, between 8.7 and 9.2 and that's my prediction and I'm gonna show you why I think we are going down and I'm gonna show you why I think it's gonna be between 8.7 uh, or uh, 9.2 and that's what I think is gonna happen but we are definitely going down now watch this first of all there are two reasons why I think we have to go down the first one is we have to close the gap on the CMA futures. I know there's no reason the gap has to be closed, yet every gap has been closed and so we just are rolling with the flow until it uh, stops being uh, valid anymore, right? So the first time it stops being valid, we're gonna stop talking about it, but it hasn't been invalidated, so we're gonna keep talking about it. Uh, here is the gap, and the gap is at uh, uh, around 8... Uh, uh, 9675 and we have to close the gap. The second reason we have to close the gap uh, Not close the gap, but to go down is because of the divergence the error side divergence We have to go down because we have got error side divergence and we're gonna uh, have to uh, Correct the divergence. So because of those two reasons the error side divergence and the gap I believe we have to go down and now comes question how far are we gonna be going down and from what I can tell uh, we're gonna hit some uh, moving averages that I think will hold on the daily. Okay, so here are the uh, most important averages uh, we have to look at on the daily. Uh, the blue one is the 100 uh, moving average, then you've got 200 and 400 moving average. The 200 moving average is at uh, 92, and the 400 moving average is at 87. And I think we're gonna hit those two, uh, one of these two lines. How far actually we're gonna go, um, and I'm not quite sure. I'm betting on the 400 is gonna be hit uh, 8.7, but we just might hit 9.2 and just stop there. And looking at the weekly uh, chart, this is 20 moving average, 50 and 100 moving average. Uh, the 50 moving average is at 8.9. Uh, 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 it doesn't actually make quite sense to go all the way down to 7.9 seven, uh, seven, uh, unless we got the corona wave 2 hitting or so, something like that uh, like over here uh, I believe like uh, 9 can be hit we can st I'm, I'm gonna say it now we're gonna uh, break the 20 moving average on the weekly and everybody is gonna be like oh a new bear market but I don't think that will happen but uh, it's gonna stop around the 9 that's why uh, I think maybe 9.2 uh, can hold but uh, I'm saying that the week might come down to 8.7 Where it's actually gonna come down, I'm not quite sure, but between 9.2 and 8.7 And at the end now, I want you to look at this beautiful triangle that we have to get out of And I uh, believe we're gonna get out on the downside uh, because of the reason I mentioned uh, It hits, uh, I won't say perfectly at the top here, but it hits it nicely, very nicely here And corresponds here and goes all the way from the bottom here touches the uh, the bottom here and all, uh, makes this beautiful uh, triangle if we can just zoom in on it just so you can see it makes beautiful triangle and I don't know quite uh, if we're gonna do like this or just go down or something like that but we're gonna definitely go down uh, from this line over here 